Hey everyone, John Gonzalez here from MLive.com, having a great time here at Creston Brewery on the north side of Grand Rapids. It's opening day for the most part. The crew members are in today, tomorrow is an industry night, but on Wednesday, August 10th, the public can come on in at 11 o'clock in the morning and try all these awesome beers. I'm with a couple of the guys that made this magic happen. I'm with Scott Schultz, cheers. Cheers. Vince Lambert, yep. cheers. cheers. Uh, Scott, we just, went through, we just went through 11 of your beers here a few minutes ago. Uh, you're doing some great things, but I love the fact that you're not really growing to style. You're, you're kind of being uh, a little adventurous, a little courageous out there. Yeah, but still approachable, I think. So, yeah. Yeah. My philosophy on beer is it's a spectrum of flavor, not a bunch of styles. So, I think it's a little bit of a different way to do things, but I encourage people to come in, try beers, tell me what you think of them, because it's really what you you know, what flavor you're experiencing is, is what's important. So, cool. Yeah. Now, Vince, uh, I noticed the kitchen back there. What can people expect when they come in here? Uh, so we uh, kind of built the menu to be really simple, but really affordable and delicious. Uh, but you can get empanadas. Uh, we got six kinds of empanadas. And we've got burritos, tacos. We've got chips and a lot of dips. Everything's uh, made from scratch right here in the house. Everything's under two bucks, so come on down for lunch. I love it. They're like made this place for me perfectly, right? Empanadas, burritos, tacos, come on. Yeah. Gonzalez, you can't go wrong there, right? Uh, I'm speaking my language, right? Uh, interesting, really creative beers, too. I think you'll find this place really different than your typical new brewery that comes on board. I think that was your goal, though, right? Different, yep. Different but approachable. Different but approachable. Yeah, I encourage people to just tell me what they think. Because, yeah, it's not not brewing an IPA or a pale ale or a stout. It's it's a spectrum of flavors. Things might taste like an IPA or a pale or a stout, but uh, doesn't really fit in these guidelines. It is to flavor. That's pretty cool. They're also using Michigan products, Michigan hops, malts, fruits. Uh, you're, you're taking care of Michigan as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have, we have an absolute bounty of amazing agricultural products. So we're using them in the kitchen. We use a ton of local suppliers for most of our produce, for our meats, and then, um, yeah, and for my beers as well. Awesome. Well, cheers, guys. Yeah, cheers. Have a great opening. Cheers. Come down here August 10th, 11 o'clock in the morning. They'll be open. You know, if we did Michigan's Best New Brewery, these guys might be in the running, but uh, that, that search is over. <laughs> MLive.com will have continuous coverage of Michigan beer, all the new breweries opening up this year, and everything happening around the state of Michigan. Take care, everyone. See you later. Take care. Bye. Cheers. cheers.